I'm here with Felix from Sono Motors. Hey. Hi, Felix. How are you? Oh, okay, how's it going? Oh, excellent. Thank you very much for inviting me to your press release uh, event here today in the lovely area of Kempton in Germany. Yep. It's a beautiful day. We couldn't have asked for something better. And I'm very excited to be in, in one of your prototype vehicles here. Tell us a little bit about that, about this car. So this car and the other one, yep. they have been built um, in the beginning of 2017. Mm -hmm. And since then, we're on tour and promoting it. So everybody who's interested can have a test drive. Great. Well, we'll chat a little bit more when we get out of the car, but what you've given me now is an opportunity just to drive it around a closed exactly. course that you have here. Yeah. Um, and I know, again, I want to stress folks that this is a prototype car. This is actually pre-production concept prototype. Exactly. Yeah. So the, a lot of the fit and finishes, a lot of the, the specs that we're able that I'm going to be able to pry out of Felix here uh, are subject to change and are not necessarily locked in yet. So certainly this is going to be more refined from an exterior and interior perspective and from options and things that you'll add but right. certainly what i see here is a couple of nice displays already i have uh, what this looks like a four or five inch uh, uh screen yeah. here yeah. and that'll give me my normal telemetry like my speed and exactly. range most yeah. likely mm -hmm. and then the center screen what will that give me so you will see of course the range here as well you see here how much sun is coming mm -hmm. right right in you will have all the infotainment system the music is on there yep. and the navigation yep. will be not on board, but you can couple it with your smartphone, okay. mirror share, and then do use uh, Android Auto okay. or, or Apple CarPlay. CarPlay. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yep. Things like this. We probably will include um, this one here as well mm -hmm. to, to change the, the temperature Great. in the car. HVAC, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But it will roughly stay the same. Two okay. displays, definitely. All right, so one of the cool features of this car that I noticed, of course, during the reveal stream last year was this biofiltration system because it really stands out. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it looks fancy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a second filter. So we have the normal paper filter, okay. which is filtering out the fine dust. Um, and the moss is then a second filter, which filters up to 20% more of the oh. fine dust out of the air. Okay. Plus, it has a positive effect on the climate inside the car because mm -hmm. it controls the humidity. Mm -hmm, very nice. And this will be something that you don't need to necessarily maintain or, or no. deal with over time. It no. will self kind of maintain itself. It it's won't cut. rot or anything so like that. It, no, right? it, yeah. it won't. Mm -hmm. You have to exchange it every two years. Every roughly, two years, okay. Because yeah. then it's kind of satisfied. Right. Okay. Saturated. Interesting. 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 Yeah. Now, the other feature you, you showed earlier was the amount of sun coming in, which is something that, again, I wanted to. Yeah, was, yeah, that's right. kind of your strong point for this vehicle. So we have, I'm not sure how many solar cells will be in the final production, but but they'll be covering, uh, I think, probably 80% of the vehicle. Is that it's correct? like 7.5 square meters. Around. Okay. Yeah. 7.5 square meters. And my understanding is that will give you um, up to um, 30 kilometer more range. For, for, a full, for, uh, for a full sunny day. As for a full sunny day in mm -hmm. the summer. Yeah, yep. exactly. Okay. It also depends on the angle of the sun. Sure. So in the summer, yep. uh, it will be more because yep. the sun is standing up more high mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the big parts of the solar cells are on the top of okay. the rooftop. Now, this particular roof is a panoramic roof. It's got a single beam uh, structure here, safety yeah. structure here. But I understand the final production will may will be a closed roof. Yes. It may or may not have a sunroof option or it won't have. You're not it sure. Won't have. It, it won't have. It has to be okay. closed. You're yeah. going to have that closed. Because of safety down. issues. Yeah. Okay, because of safety. So this isn't necessarily the Gorilla Glass that we're seeing in some of the other uh, manufacturers when they're building their panoramic roofs. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that'll be closed. Um, but certainly the cabin is, is spacious. I mean, I'm not tall by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Uh, I'm only five foot eight, so I'm not sure what that is in meters. But, um, you know, I've got loads of headroom. I take it the, the ceiling will still be the same. Mm -hmm. So certainly six foot, six foot two people can quite easily. There's lots of leg room in the back and, and tons of boot space. Yeah. So it's a very sim simplistic um, design. This looks kind of unique. This looks like it's something from somebody else. Well, it's from BMW, to <laughs> be honest, say, but yeah. <laughs> it's just for the prototype. In the end, okay. we have our own supplier just for it. Okay, so you'll have yeah. something unique, whether it's going to be a column shifter or a floor shifter, not sure yeah, yet. Yeah, can't tell yet, but okay. uh, right now you can see you don't get to the start button that easily, so right, right. we're so, going to change so that. So you'll rejig that. But you'll have all your basic controls, your HVAC, your power windows, all that kind of stuff that exactly. uh, comes with A lot of things you know today. from a normal car. Okay. It's just not as comfy yet. Right, and, right. And um, if you look here, it's pretty rough to design. Yeah, I was noticing so, that. But again, that would be for a concept perspective. It will definitely just change. to give you the form yeah. and feel of it uh, yeah. from that perspective. All right, so is this this is already turned on in, in driving mode, or do I have to it's touch the not, brake and do you, something? Exactly, to touch the brake yep. first. Mm -hmm. And then you press that start button. Start button, okay. And you see a blue light coming here. Yep. Um, and I see it's in park. And it's okay. in parking mode, exactly. That's and the handbrake. And I see my range is 133, and it's showing charging. That's probably from the solar. Is exactly, right? yep. exactly. But it's this is just a dummy yet. Also, this one here, okay. this value mm -hmm. is not is not true. Okay. okay. Okay, then you can shift this one to the back, so you go to driver's mode. Yep. 
and then we can go for a ride. Well, obviously, with all electric cars, they're quiet. I mean, the only thing we hear it's is quiet. is outside noise. Yeah. Oh, um, it's it's here. Did you? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Close that a little bit since we have our camera rolling. Yeah, I can also close mine. Let's go around here. How does it drive for a prototype? Quite well, doesn't quite it? Quite well. Yeah, I'm not hearing any squeaks and rattles. So you guys yeah. have actually pre done pretty good with the glue in this group. <laughs> so there's your bit of a motor whine. So now the motor in this is about an 80 kilowatt motor. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So going to give you roughly what 105 horse. Uh, 109. 109 horsepower. And what about 140 newton meters or pound feet of torque? Uh, 250. Or 250 pound feet, and that would be what in newton meters? A uh, newton meter, 200 meters. Newton meter, okay. So I don't know. Pound feet. I'll have to I'll have to put that in the yeah. video. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's all with the SI so units. Give it a bit of acceleration, nice brisk acceleration. Yeah, like a spaceship taking off here. Exactly. We just need the Jetsons. <laughs> A nice, uh, yeah, tight steer steering. Yeah. These will come most likely with 16-inch wheels or 17-inch wheels. 17. Wheel, 17. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's 19, I think. 19. Okay. And it will go down to 17. Oh, very nice. Gotta like it. And feel the recuperation. I do feel the recuperation. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're most likely going to have that factory set, or will there be an option for the user to change the aggressiveness of the recuperation? No, it will be one step. It'll be one step. Okay. Yeah, up to 50 kilowatt you can mm -hmm. recuperate. Okay. Very nice. And I'll park it here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Great, and, and then just then press the stop button again. Or P. No, just the no. stop button. Yeah, and then it goes directly Automatic to P. P. And okay. here you can take, uh, yeah, pull, pull this one. And then you can get the, the hand brakes. The hand brake on, yeah, the electric hand brake. Yeah. And that's the eject button for the Canadians that maybe you don't like. Exactly, and, and yeah. I get yeah. ejected out of here. Later on, it and won't thank be. Thank you for not pressing that one for me. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. So later on, this won't be in here. Yes, yeah, so you will have more space because right now you see with your left foot, you don't have really space to put right, it somewhere. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, the, the brakes and the acceleration pedals, they will be. A little bit there will be more distance between it okay so a little bit more ergonomic from a foot perspective and, and everything here. actually and i'm sure it'll have probably telescoping and both tilt steering from that perspective can't sure. tell but it okay. will be it will be more ergonomic yeah i mean i mean i got lots of room so certainly yeah. if for somebody for height a little wider there's definitely yeah. plenty of room in this but on the back seats um uh -huh. you will have more space because it's getting a little bit longer okay and um yeah the very nice inside interior will will definitely change great yeah. great all right well let's finish up outside then. yeah great all right, so we had a nice drive in the uh, 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 Scion. I have to get the name right. Is that right? Yeah, Scion. Yeah, right. Uh, from Sono Motors, and again, so it's uh, going to come obviously in a little bit more nicer package. This is the prototype concept, so a lot of things are working out. We were just discussing the solar panels, and Felix, you were saying that they obviously they're going to be much more integrated into the design, into the look of the car, make it much more appealing to look at. Right. But from a, um, a, a, a servicing perspective, they're going to be modular. Explain what that means. They're going to be mod modular. So you're yeah, able right. To so if, if one is getting damaged by a crash or so, mm -hmm. you can just replace it without replacing the entire door. Right. Excellent. So that's great. Um, and again, uh, so you know, if something happens, they'll be able to. Now your service model is going to be you're going to you're going to provide information to the owners as well as have a partnership with service dealers across the globe, basically in many countries. Is that correct? That's correct. So mm -hmm. if you have any damage with your car, you can kind of repair it in three ways. The first one is you repair it yourself. We will gonna make uh, like uh, tutorials yep. and you can show that on the on the screen. You can okay. watch it wow. and kind of repair a car on your own. That's mm -hmm. for smaller things. Mm -hmm. For instance, the moss we're discussing, right. you have to replace it after two years sure. and you can do it yourself. So we will show how to open the glass and then get the new moss in. Excellent. Um, but for other repair uh, things, there's not a whole heck of a lot. I mean, brakes will last longer because of recuperation. That's true. There's no oil to change, That's which true. is what we love about EVs. But for um, bigger issues, you can always go to a garage. Sure. Because we have an open handbook. Okay. Uh, they will repair it and get mm -hmm. the tools over over our website. Okay. And we will also have a fixed service partner that's sitting over. And there'll be a global, uh, different partners globally, or in the countries that you're going to be selling to. Yeah, and definitely in the countries we're going to be selling to. Right, excellent. Okay. Uh, so uh, we don't have a final definition of the battery pack size. It's still under uh, development, but you're, you're guessing somewhere between the, the 38 and 45 kilowatt. Uh, 35 and 45. So 35 and 45 somewhere kilowatt range. That, so yeah. again, giving you a good real world range, not WLTP or EPA, but these are actually what they've been already 
testing for the last year of about 250 kilometers, maybe a tweak more, depending on your driving style. Yeah, 250, but that's in the summer. In the winter, right. we'll have definitely loss. Yeah, 30, 40% loss. Now from a, yeah, and from an active management, you are going to integrate some sort of cooling and thermal management to keep yes. the batteries warm in the winter and cool in the summer, is that correct? That's correct, and it's super important to have yep. a long life uh, yep. battery. And yeah. from your charging perspective, you're gonna support both um, European CCS combo and, uh, or is it gonna be CCS combo or Chatamo? I'm not sure. We can have a look at yep. the front actually. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's gonna be the, here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the type two. Yep. Mm -hmm. and the CCS yep. and the normal household plug as well. Okay. You need an adapter for it. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is to take energy out of the car. Ah, that's right, because you support bi-directional charging. Exactly. Now, is that for car-to-car -car charging or also vehicle to grid? Are you going to look at those applications? Yeah. Both. Just storage? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. And also for smaller gadgets, if you want to charge your smartphone ah, or okay. have fresh there coffee or whatever, right. that's possible. There you go, you can open a little cappuccino stand right here. Right. And making coffee. For the Italian folks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and this will support up to 50 kilowatt charging, is that correct? Exactly, for, for CCS, CCS direct charging. current. Okay. Yeah. And then in-home in or level two charging, somewhere around the six kilowatt, uh, is that estimated? Or you're not 11. sure yet? 11 kilowatt. At least 11. Now also it'll have some towing capabilities. You saw some of the B-roll that I took that it does have a tow hitch already. That, will that come standard with the car, the tow hitch, or that'll be an optional after uh, accessory to add on? So that's the only option you can choose, basically. Only option, other than colors, maybe, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my understanding, it'll support uh, about 1,500 pounds of towing, is that Yeah, right? 750 kilograms. 750 so kilos, Somewhat okay. about. And then also have a hitch weight of about 200 pounds. Uh, uh, 50 kilograms, so 50 I think it's kilos, 100 pounds. 100, 110, something like yeah. that. So you can definitely put a bike rack on there, that kind of application. Right, right. Sure, excellent. Uh, now, uh, as far as pricing, your website talks about 16,000 euros if I remember that correctly, yes. for the base car, then the battery will either be a purchase or a rental lease program. And, right. And, you know, in Europe, folks, uh, for those who don't know, it's pr pretty common to have rental leasing programs. Renault, Zoe's do that uh, with their platforms that you don't necessarily, you can save some money and just pay for the battery. And if, if they change, you can swap it for something yeah. else over time. So you're going to offer a similar type of program or you can just buy it all outright. Exactly. Okay. Buy it or lease it. Right, okay. Yeah. So about 20,000 euros if you wanted to buy it, current pricing right now estimate. Yeah. You are taking pre-orders and I take it that's a thousand euro or, or actually there's a range, right? There's a range, price? you yeah. can basically choose how much mm -hmm. you want to pay yep. up front. So it's at least 500 bucks and yep. then it goes in yeah, thousand, two thousand and so on. Excellent. So you can basically choose. Yeah, okay. And uh, these are going to, going to go into production next year. Uh, you don't have a target date yet, uh, but I'm guessing around next fall of next year, is that correct? Somewhat like that, Summer we will fall, first have hopefully. to do the homologation and all yep. kinds of tests because okay. otherwise it makes no sense to produce for a large number of cars. For sure, yeah. But the goal is that the, the first reservations, yep. people with the first reservations get the car right. by the end of 2019. Oh, so the end of next year and you've already got 8,000, approaching 8,000 reservations A little right bit less, now. but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah getting yeah. up there, which is great. And those are worldwide res uh, reservations, not just Yeah, Europe. for more than 30 countries, yeah. actually. So. Excellent. So you'll start uh, uh, shipping and delivering in Europe, and then you'll go from there as the orders dictate uh, once you get them going. And uh, we're not sure, folks, where these are going to be built yet. Uh, they haven't finalized the details on that. It'll be somewhere in Europe, from what I understand. Right. Uh, I'm not aware of who the battery source manufacturer is going to be. Uh, that's still under discussion. Uh, well, that's a oh. German company it's okay. called Elring Klinger. So ah, okay. we okay. together with them uh, developed the battery yes. and they will provide the battery. Oh, for, excellent. Okay. And car. is that a cylindrical design battery or a pouch, uh, prismatic pouch? Actually, I, I can't tell. You can't I'm tell. Sorry, okay, yeah. no problem at all. Well, I try you know, a little, pry a little information out. Well, listen, it's, it's been fascinating to see the prototype. You know, it's always uh, cool folks to come out and look at what's being innovated. And, you know, you guys are a smaller startup company, so it's not like uh, here we are GM or Ford kind of throwing throwing a little right. research division. So my hat's off to you for coming up with this stuff. I think from a great urban or intercity applications, this is going to be a great vehicle, um, depending on, uh, on obviously the, the distance at the end of the day yeah. um, and, and the driving habits of people. Certainly it can be a longer term a driving car, certainly tooting around Europe. There's more infrastructure uh, coming up almost daily now from, from everywhere in the world being built with the Ionity structure here in Europe and the Electrify America and other campaigns both in uh, Canada and, and uh, the US. So infrastructure is coming. So great to look at. And uh, you know, I'll post the website address in my notes as well for people to go check it out. Anything else you wanted to add about the car? 
Well, no, I think we covered it all. Yeah, excellent. Well, yeah. we try to be thorough here on the EV Revolution show. Hey, Felix, you know, it's been a pleasure yeah, spending some time with you. Thanks, thanks so much for having you. Yeah, having you. I appreciate it. I'm glad I yeah. could, uh, my schedule could, uh, timing could uh, make it all work. So yeah. Appreciate it. It's thanks a big a honor to, to have you here. Oh, well, it's by All the way from Canada. I, I mean, appreciate it. It's not it. nearby, yeah. you know. No, it's not. No. Listen, best of luck to you guys, yeah. and uh, I look forward to following your progress. Yeah, thanks all so right. much. You're welcome. Take care. Yeah. Stay tuned.